Welcome to my scrappiness guys. This is Marissa and we are going to be working on a card today. This is a stamp set from Out to New. This is the Winter Floral. I am going to create a card using this stamp set. We are going to use a technique. It's an older technique. Basically, uh, it's a resist and masking. The portion of the video where I had uh, shown uh, the stamping and the actual process of creating this poinsettia had been corrupted. So I'm going to redo it. I'm going to restamp. Let me show you the layering guide for uh, this Altenew Winter Florals. I have the uh, stamps right here already, ready to go. And this is how it goes. So you start with the outline, then you start with the full uh, color, then the um, layer here, the, the third layer, the highlights, then you have the stamens here to create the poinsettia. And let me start with the outline here. This is the outline stamp. It's a little grungy right now because uh, it's been used several times during the process of creating this card. So let me start with the poinsettia here. And I'm going to use the black onyx ink from Versafine to stamp the outline. There you go. The next uh, stamp we're going to use is this uh, stamp here and this is the full stamp that should cover the whole of the uh, of the poinsettia <laughs> excuse my misty guys it's gotten dirty i'll clean it up here after we finish this we're going to use the distress oxide sponge sugar for um, this stamp folks and let's stamp it I love this pink color. The next stamp we're gonna put on is the highlight stamp. And we are going to use it as such. So I'm just following the way the, uh, the stamp is. And for this stamp, I am going to use candied apple. We're going to put the candied apple on top. Oh, I love it every time. Next item we're going to put on are the stamens. For the stamen, we're going to start with the shabby shutters. Then we're going to use the squeeze lemonade. So I just aligned the stamen in the middle. And then go in the center, pick it up. We're going to start with our shabby shutters here. So I'm going to put that on. And then close the misty and there you go it's not very highlighted but that's okay you can still see it for the highlight we are going to use the squeeze lemonade put on your squeeze lemonade there you go we're now we're going to go back and do our masking technique guys so let me put away the stamps and then we're going to take this full uh, stamp again, put it over, line it up as best you can, pick it up. And this time we're going to get our embossing items prepared. So I'm only using a, um, a printer paper here to catch my embossing powder. I'm putting it on the side here. Then we're going to work with your embossing powder and don't forget your Versamark. So this is my Versamark here. It is so well loved. And I'm going to go ahead and um, pounce it on this stamp. And you know what guys, before I do this, let me go ahead and take my anti-static powder here and um, put some anti-static powder on my image here. So I won't have any stray embossing powders all over the place. 
going back on the pouncing the versa mark on my stamp here i'm going to close this take my card put it over here and pour the embossing powder over it See how cloudy it is? That means the embossing powder is stuck on the uh, on the image. And heat up our gun. Let's heat up our image. I love it when the embossing powder starts melting. I love watching that as you can tell the difference. So let's cool this down. Okay guys, now we're going to move on to our leaves. Before I move on to the leaves guys, let me show you these two Alta New stamps here. I have nine holiday card series for this month of November 2020. For each one of those videos, I will pull out a lucky commenter to win a Best Sentiments um, stamp here by Alta New. On Thanksgiving Day, the video that I'm going to release, the lucky commenter for that video will win this grateful stamp here. It's an acorn and of course the grateful word here. So guys, make sure you make a comment on all those nine videos, the holiday card series. And I will put all the links of those card series as I release them down in the description below. And I'm going to put out the link there. So please do not miss out. Because ah, those are cute stamps to be missing out on. So this is the uh, leaves. This is actually this one over here that I put down here. And then um, this leaf here, I'm going to put up on this side up here. So I'm going to put it up there. When we embossed this earlier, what it did, it's going to resist the stamping of these leaves. I am going to use Lucky Clover to ink the stamps, the leaf stamps right here. This is what I'm going to use. I went ahead and stamped the Lucky Clover and the and the uh, leaves. So, and I used Lucky Clover for that. The next thing we're going to do is stamp it with our Versamark because we're gonna have to put on the resist for this and we're going to stamp them over the leaves that we've already stamped on this image okay and we're going to pour our embossing powder our clear embossing powder we have our uh, paper here already do not worry that you're going to um have the heat over the poinsettia again it'll just melt it it'll just it'll be okay all right so the next thing i want to do is bring this in again and we're going to also work on our sentiment in the front Okay, let's get our sentiment in the front. As we uh, ink or as we put on the sentiment, we're going to go ahead and uh, put on our embossing powder on top of it. So we can get going and rolling on our, on our project. For this one, I want to say merry and bright. And we're going to use our Versafine for this. So let me go ahead and close this up. I'm using the Ebony Spark again. I've used this already from a previous project. By, this is by Sprinkles, or I'm sorry, Sparkles and Sprinkles. So I'm gonna open this up 
and get it ready for our project. I'm going to double stamp this, guys. Merry and bright. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then we're gonna get our embossing powder. Guess what we forgot? As soon as I poured it, I knew right, I forgot right away. I was like, ah, oh, Marissa, you forgot one of the important things. Thank goodness we have a brush. We forgot to put our anti-static powder. That's okay. You can clean around it. We're heating up our gun. We're gonna emboss now. We're gonna melt the, uh, the embossing powder. There you go, guys. Isn't that cute? Okay, guys, I didn't get to show you, but I did add red, yellow, or gold, and um, white sequences on the card. Okay, guys, it's time to put our card together. So I have this base here. It's from an, um, an off-white or ivory colored cardstock. And I'm gonna go ahead and put our card together here. Okay guys, here are our cards. I have a total of 17 here. I hope you enjoyed watching and going through the process with me. I did put a little bit too many sequins, but I think it's still cute considering. These cards are for my October card swap with my friends here in uh, our area, and I do hope my friends will like uh, these cards. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed watching. That's it for now guys. I will catch you later. Be safe out there. Bye.